Shop my guys, it's Al here with some more scrap mechanic. Today I'm going to be looking at a gear car. While this isn't a full gear car in itself, we're going to be looking mostly at the engine that is in this. Later, I do want to make a gear car specifically meant for this engine, but for time constraint reasons, I haven't been able to finish that. Right now, I'm joined with the Lucky Mars bar, kind of hanging out and building. Right now, these are Hi. both gear car 10 versions. One has the original eight inline eight engine while the other one has the nebus engine as i'm calling it currently which is a 10 cylinder boxer engine which uses the same timing system that is in the inline eight mostly we're just going to show off the comparison of them and this one is semi frame friendly but it is a whole lot more powerful so i'm going to go ahead and kick it in first you want to go ahead and kick it in first Right now we are both currently in first. I oh. seem to, oh, I was about to say, I think my engine might have stalled there for a second. It seems like I'm just fine. You want to get, kick it in a second? Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and kick it in the third. And right about here is where the effects take place most. The Nevis engine that is in my car is a whole lot more powerful than the eight cylinder inline that Lucky has, which means that I can hit into third gear without affecting my engine. Later, I am tempted to either put a fourth gear or change the third gear to be a different gear ratio to take advantage of the power that this engine has. Because currently, while I am faster than him, it's very marginal, very small area. But I am still faster than him technically. One issue we did run into and I did notice is with the rear suspension, the suspension that was in it caused a lot of friction which meant a lot of my speed went out the door with that suspension. So I am back to the flat straight axle of the 10. And I, in the future, I might try a few different things to get rid of that. Like I might do one wheel on the back, which will mean I really won't need suspension at all in the rear. Or I could try a few different other things, including just having the straight axle like this. Because this is mostly supposed to be a racing vehicle rather than being a off-road vehicle like some of my other gear cars are. However, this engine might find its way in some of my off-road vehicles as well. However, racing is what I'm trying to do at the moment. What, what gear are you in at the moment? Third. You're in third. <clears throat> and I said a rock. <clears throat> Kick it in third. I have been experimenting with a lot of different engines. Mostly I've been going towards off-road. I have tried four-wheel drive. That's something that has worked semi-well. However, due to some future plans that might be coming up, I did want to look at some racing vehicles possibly. Uh, one of the biggest constraints is one frame rate and two with some of these engines the problem is is the way I have bearings in the engine which tilt the piston slightly to get the timing right. Those will give out if I make too powerful of an engine those bearings will start to give way even though they're connected to the controller. So I do have to work with that limitation, which is why I have to focus more on faster engines rather than more powerful engines. So now you can start to get an idea of speed. I am starting to pass him slowly, but surely starting to pass him. <coughs> Assuming I don't hit a rock. Yep, there's a rock. <laughs> kick it into a lower gear and get around <coughs> that rock and kick it back into third. So yeah, this, this really wasn't a gear car in itself. It's the gear car 10 with a new engine on it. One little thing to know also is because of where the wheels are on this thing, I can turn on a dime. It's like not even care about turning radius. And due to the lighter weight of this gear car with the more powerful engine, I can actually start to take jumps. Unfortunately, I really haven't found many jumps worth taking. I know there's one over here, so I'm gonna go over here just to do it before we end out the episode. But that's really it for this episode. Mostly we were looking at the engine rather than the gear car itself. 
In the future, I do want to make a gear car centered around this engine that takes advantage of the power and speed that it offers. However, I haven't been able to do that due to time constraints, like I said earlier. And if memory serves me right, there is a small jump on the other side of this hill. And I want to get a little bit of a run up to it. Uh, maybe not. I might have been wrong. I don't see a jump. It should be around there. Ah, I there saw is. you take it earlier. There's the jump. However, I haven't gotten the best run up. But we're going to take it anyway. We. <clears throat> that was a bit more pathetic than last time I took it. But unfortunately, that is the result. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. End the episode out here. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments below. If you do enjoy the channel, do enjoy what I'm doing it, and do enjoy the gear cars I make, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Until next time, this has been Al, goofing around with gear cars. Peace.